four-year-old Lenexa boy is facing more surgeries tonight to save his arm after a lawnmower accident. But Truett Shacklett's right leg below the knee could not be saved. His father was using the riding mower on their property in western Lenexa when somehow Truett got tangled in it. The boy was taken by air ambulance to an area hospital. The Shacklett's pastor says the family has a fierce faith and a strong support system. And there's a very wide circle of friends and family that have been reaching out to them over these last uh, several hours. In fact, they've kind of been inundated with people trying to help them. Truett is in serious condition tonight. He has seven siblings, including a newborn. And this case is a tragic reminder about the importance of lawnmower safety. It sure is. Each year, the Amputee Coalition says more than 600 children lose limbs due to mower accidents. Thousands are injured and some are killed. KBC 9's Peggy Bride is live with what you need to know. Peggy? Well, Lara, the emergency room here at Children's Mercy Hospital sees its fair share of lawnmower injuries every single year. Now, doctors here tell us that kids and lawnmowers are a dangerous combination. They see kids with small to major injuries, most involving the extremities, feet and legs, hands and arms. The doctors recommend that parents leave small children inside while mowing and check the ground before you get started. You'll get uh, uh, lawnmower will run over rocks or toys and throw them, and it can cause a pretty severe injury to a head or, or to an eye. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends a child be 12 years old before using a push mower, 16 before operating a riding mower, and children should never be allowed to ride on a lawn mower or a garden tractor. We're live at Children's Mercy, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. Some of the newer models of lawn mowers have an array of safety features, but doctors say even with that, kids and adults need to use an abundance of caution around powerful machines.